As a nutritionist and a fellow person with diabetes, I believe that nourishing your body should be a joyful experience. Starting semaglutide can increase bloat and uncomfortable gastrointestinal effects, but also promotes muscle loss over time. The chocolate and mixed fruit flavors of BioCare Nutrition are not only delicious, but also rich in essential nutrients and add a great amount of protein to your daily intake. Say goodbye to bland shakes and hello to a flavorful way to meet your nutritional needs while also soothing those side effects. Visit BioCareNutrition.com and use the code HANGRYWOMAN on your upcoming order. Welcome to the Your Diabetes Podcast, the podcast that ensures you never have to do diabetes alone. My name is Mila and I'm your host. I live with latent autoimmune diabetes in adults, which is a slow progressing form of type 1 diabetes. And today we're going to be talking about a topic that I think is hard but necessary. And that's a topic around body image. As you know, on this podcast, we talk all things diabetes and we support each other through our journeys. It is hard enough to live with diabetes without feeling judged and without feeling like you're being criticized for every move that you make. But I really wanted to dive into this topic because I thought it was an important one. You guys know I am no stranger to rude comments. And that comment said, if you are on Ozempic, why are you still fat? Side eye, right? I hate when people make judgments about my body or anybody else's body, but questions like that don't do much to help our body image, right? I feel like I have had so many issues with body image in my life and trigger warning for the rest of this episode may include talk of eating disorders as well as body image issues. And if that is something that you can't handle at this moment. There's no shame in that, but I didn't want to proceed with what I'm about to talk about without mentioning those things. So might be a good time to tune into another episode. And yeah, <laughs> I'm diving into this one because wow. So I want to start by addressing a common struggle and it is comparing ourselves to others and especially doing that on social media. Not only that, but when it comes to social media, you're not always going to get the kindest responses and the kindest feedback. And so having a thick skin is really important, as is also controlling your mouth. <laughs> you don't have to be mean to someone for the sake of being mean to somebody. And if you wouldn't say it to their face, if you wouldn't walk up to them on the street and say it, you probably shouldn't be commenting it. But I digress, people get brave behind the keyboard. But sometimes that comparison and those comments, even from strangers, can affect our body image. And today I just wanted to talk about some of the advice for managing those feelings and for things that you can do to encourage positive self-talk, right? It's natural to compare ourselves to others and social media obviously amplifies those feelings, especially when we see curated images that don't necessarily reflect reality or we don't see people who look like us in mainstream media. But remember that what you see online isn't always the full picture. So focus on celebrating your own journey and your own achievements rather than comparing yourself to others. And if social media becomes overwhelming, take a break and prioritize activities that make you feel good about yourself. I also wanted to talk about the impact of diabetes management on body image because many of us face challenges like weight fluctuations, insulin injections, pump sites, scarring, scar tissue, bruising, all of these physical manifestations of the disease that we're living with and how we manage it. And so how do we navigate those issues while still maintaining a positive self-image? It's important to acknowledge that living with diabetes involves managing your health in various ways, and that includes the changes to your body. And practicing self-compassion, reminding yourself that these changes aren't a reflection of your worth, those are super important things to do every single day surround yourself with supportive people who understand your journey and don't be afraid to seek professional help if you're struggling to cope. Sometimes we need help to be able to understand the struggle that we've been going through. I also wanted to share some 
practical strategies that all of us can implement to improve our body image and boost our self-esteem. Cultivate gratitude by focusing on the strengths of your body rather than its appearance or what it's unable to do. Engage in activities that make you feel confident and empowered. It could be exercise, spending time with your loved ones. It could be photographing your body in the most artistic and coolest of ways. It can be looking at yourself in the mirror and telling yourself that you are beautiful, you are worthy, you are more than just the human sack of skin that happens to be on this earth, and that you are worth the kindness. And that there are so many wonderful and beautiful things about you. And 99% of those things probably are not your body. Your worth is not defined by diabetes or your appearance. You are strong, you are resilient, and you are beautiful just as you are. And anyone who says otherwise is unhappy with themselves. Happy people don't project their insecurities onto anyone else. I can tell you that for sure. This is a short episode, but I just wanted to put it out there. And I wanted to know from you, what are the things that you love about you? What are the things that make you smile when you see them? What are the things about you that make you proud to be you? Remember those things and take those things with you past this podcast and tell yourself them every day and believe them every day. The things that you think about yourself, especially the positive, wonderful, and powerful things about you, those things are the things that are true about you, not the negative self-talk, not the things that external people and external voices put on you, but the way that you feel about yourself in here, the way that you feel in your heart, the goodness and the things that you know to be true about yourself, the positive things that you know to be true about yourself. That's what makes you you. And that's the focus. That's it for today. Thank you for listening to Your Diet Bestie. And I hope that this was empowering for you. I hope that you can engage in some positive affirmations, that you can really think through things that you love about yourself, and that you can exude that to the world. If you want the transcript of this episode or the YouTube version, which I always put up because it's everyone says it's like talking to a friend, which I think is so funny, you can go to diabestipod.com and that's where you'll get all of that information as well as all of the episodes of Your Diabestie. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope that you can spread your goodness to the world and that you look at yourself a lot differently after this episode. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.